Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video which is apparently a what's in my password case video because I asked you guys on Instagram if you would like to see that and you said yes so um, we're doing this today so yeah I've switched pencil cases and I got this one for Christmas 2018 because I wanted to switch to a pencil case that's a bit smaller than the one I had previously I'm gonna grab this one pretty fast so this is the one I had before and it's pretty pretty much a little bigger <laughs> so oh you can see my keyboard that's fine <laughs> so um yeah this is this is the comparison between the two i'm still using this one from lihit lab from amazon and i'm using it for my watercolor um on the go and i have some brush pens some filled with ink filled with water to make some washes or some highlights and this is my little schminke watercolor set and I know I, I should clean it, but it's loved and used. So yeah, um, also I've put my towel um, in here to wipe off the excess color of my pants. But this is not what this video is about. Um, the video is about this little baby. Let me bring you a bit closer again. Oh yeah, this one is a bit gross though <laughs> if you were wondering what what this was laying on the side of my screen so yeah um i got this one and i don't know the brand it's a japanese one this little label said it says um angu i don't know if that's correct it just says um <laughs> choose to be easy classic pocket so yeah um it has this little pocket on the front and i'm storing some oh <laughs> some washi tape in it um i need to refill <laughs> this card it's a an old gift card i've used from amazon so um and i usually wrap the washi tape around it and because it's made of plastic you can just you can just unwrap it and stick it somewhere yay so that's that and i need to wrap some some fresh washi tape around it so put this big back in there and the clue about this pencil case is that you can make it um bigger and smaller I've chosen it to be a bit bigger for now because we were people sketching yesterday and I needed some I thought I needed some Copic markers but I didn't so <laughs> let's start with the first bag the first pocket here's a little enamel pin in form of a donut I bought it at the dollar store and let's just grab all the things in there so this is what I have in this one, in this upper one. Um, it's a Yin Hao. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Just stay here. Um, it's a Yin Hao, Jin Hao, whatever <laughs> uh, fountain pen. I bought very cheap off of Amazon and filled it with carbon ink, and it writes very smoothly. It has a very, very a very um, heavy metal body and that's pretty nice for writing and it writes pretty smoothly it was about like three euros off of Amazon so yeah um, I have some refill cartridges for the pens the brush pens I carry with me I'm um, not all of them but here are some I don't know which ones they are I think the Fudenoske ones so putting this over here and here's some uh, refill 
mechanical pencil lets for my mechanical pencils obviously and they are color pencils uh, I mean <laughs> mechanical pencil lets in colors and they are erasable and they are the best ones I've used so far they're really pretty much well they're really erasable <laughs> even the lavender one which is pretty dark so yeah I have some clips to hold my sketchbook open from time to time and a very small eraser from Tumbo Mono Zero Elastoma Eraser um, for small details to erase like eyes and highlights and stuff. Yeah, I'm putting this back into the pencil case so I don't lose it. Because I do that sometimes. And over here I have my outlining pens and sketching pens. And these are the Delgard Zebra Delgard uh, mechanical pencils in 0 0.7 and they claim to be non-breakable. Like they do the thing that if you press really hard on the lead, it goes a bit inside. There are like these spring feathers that do that, um, but they of course break if you press from the side because then all the pressure is on the lead itself and then it will break of course. But if you are, if you are drawing like directly down, <laughs> Um, they will likely not break that easily because the lead will go a bit back inside the pen and yeah I, I really like them because they lie very good in your hand and yeah I love them for sketching and they have this little eraser on the top also you go back there then I have my trusty old Pentel GFKP, <laughs> the pencil, pencil um, pocket brush, and yeah, I like outlining with it a lot. It's much fun using this one, and yeah, I also got this little baby for Christmas. It's the um, Fudenoske. It's a Fudenoske brush pen, I think, or Koretake. Oh my God. I don't know, I don't remember. Um, yeah, and I like this one. I filled it up with carbon ink. It came with Sumi ink, but I replaced that with carbon. And I don't know if you can see, ooh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the brush is a bit shorter which makes it for me personally a bit easier to control and the metal body is a bit more slippery than the plastic one but I like this one because I have a little bit more control with it um, but it's really a thing of preference here you can you have to choose your pens for your personal preferences also I'm sorry if I sound a bit a bit rough um, I had a bad cold, which I'm still recovering from, and my throat was a bit damaged from it. So the next outline pen is the. This is the. Um, Nutless ink, Nutla Creeper pen, the fountain pen, which has a flex nib and is pretty affordable, and I keep it with me to do some line works from time to time and I usually fill it up with Ecoline ink which is not ink technically but dye but you know for sketchbooks that doesn't matter that much because dye isn't light fast so uh, I'm a bit out of breath I need a sip of tea Ugh, come here um, the last section of my pencil case is this one. It's a big one. 
So, <laughs> um, I took this these Copic markers with me when we went people drawing at IKEA, but I did not use use them actually. So, but I could have, you know. Um, yeah, the next thing I carry with me is this little baby. It's a pen. <laughs> Um, for your phone screen and it doesn't have like pressure sensitivity or something but I use it if I wanna sketch on my mobile phone screen because it has a bit more control also it has a little ballpoint pen on the other side so next up is my little sharpener. I'm looking for a new one in this size because this one doesn't sharpen that nicely. But it's a pretty convenient size to keep with me because it has a container and if I'm out and about I don't have to look for a place to put my rubbish. And sometimes I take some colored pencils with me to sketch in stuff, but I don't always have them on hand, so... This time there aren't some in my pencil case to show you, but I usually use um, cheaper ones and sometimes I use polychromos. So the next thing I have in my pencil case is this knife. <laughs> um, <laughs> a nice person gifted these to us. Uh, Atene has a similar one um, with the logo of our shop um, on it and hers is black with white font and mine is white with black font and yeah it says arts crafts and graphics Dönikin art and it has a wide variety of ooh, what's this uh, a wide variety of knives on it <laughs> so also some some tools that are handy and I usually use these knives to cut my washi tapes and they are so sharp you have to really be careful um, they are so sharp they even work as a as a precise knife to cut out outlines if you want to cut uh, if you want to tape the um, if you want to tape the washi tape behind your character and just want to cut out the outlines of it yeah um, it also comes with a toothpick I don't use for my teeth and a little set of tweezers <laughs> which is also nice to have I really love this knife it's so it's so nice um, the next thing oh is a bit of ooh, a bit of dirt. I always carry around a bit of dirt. You should have it on hand. Um, I have this. I think this is a kodetake. I think the other one is also one. <laughs> the one with the gold on here is also from kodetake, I think. So yeah, um, this one is filled with Zumi ink. And I usually use it for blocking out bigger areas or coloring black hair in black and white so I don't have to use all the carbon ink and yeah or for lettering these are also nice I think they are meant for lettering originally for Japanese calligraphy but you know um yeah I have my little eraser with me Nothing special, just really, really, really dirty from the color pencilettes. Also, I have invested into Copic Multiliners last year, and these are pretty nice. And I really like the feel of these metal bodies, and I like that you can replace the cartridges in them, and you don't have so much um, plastic waste. Yeah, and the last thing we have is this Pantel Aquash brush pen, brush pen, pen, brush pen thing. <laughs> um, I carry with me in case I don't want to carry this whole monster with me. I have like smaller sets of um, watercolor paints with me, like this size, for example. 
um, I need to clean this out. <laughs> um, but I had like uh, cyan, cyan, magenta and yellow in it and those are the three primary colors and you can use them for pretty much anything. And if I don't want to, um, as said, carry this whole monster with me, I just use a small tin and put some pens inside that I want to use and then I'm ready for on the go. So yeah, that's it <laughs> pretty much. Um, just putting this in here. Oh, I want to show you one last thing. One last thing. The zippers on this were pretty nasty at the start. They had to get used to being used, so now they work pretty fine. So you can actually close the one on the outer side. My pencil case is a bit too full for this, but I wanted to show you. So uh, I need to take some stuff out. Give me a second. So we're taking this out. And yeah, that's working. I think it's working better. So closing this one. So now it's pretty nice and slim and you can put it in a smaller bag or something and it doesn't take up so much space but I'm gonna unfold it again so I can put my stuff back in. Yeah. So yeah, that's my cancer case update for 2019. That's it. Um, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching and sticking with me. And I see you guys next time. And until we do, please do something that makes you happy. Bye bye. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the end card. I'm happy you made it here. And if you want to support this channel and my art and the art of my wife, um, please check out our social media channel stuff. I'm linking it in the description and also I'm linking our shop there. We have an Etsy shop where we sell handmade watercolors and prints and other stuff that will follow in the future. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye.